guys and gals, Maddie, Wanda back again. I got my new best friend Audrina with me this weekend, which is pretty exciting. This is one of Bo's daughters. You guys all know the famous Bucksaw Bo. We got Bo's buddy Chris out with us this weekend. And, hold on, I gotta run ahead here. Maddie is super stoked. I got literally one of my absolute favorite people in the world to hike with. Hot Tang! I got Hot Tang Char with me this weekend. Right now, we are hiking on Coral Creek. Our objective for the weekend, normally no trail conditions. Maybe one of those ones that doesn't turn out the way I hope it will. We're trying to get to a place called Coral Lake. A plus on the intro. That's the first time I've ever been told that before. The views here do not disappoint. So the Klein River, which I hike quite a bit, is actually this valley just across on the other side of these trees here. But uh, we're going up Coral Creek Valley. We just finally dipped down along Coral Creek here. So this is Coral Creek here and behind me. And that's the direction we're going to be following. So. That beautiful rock wall here down the valley, that's where we're going to be walking along all day today. It's pretty sweet, but we just got under the trees, figured we'd come out here, dip our feet in the water, cool off a little bit. Wanda wanted to cool down. It's pretty warm. It's like 16 degrees out right now, so nice breeze though. It's nice and cool, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous today. Oh, Wanda wants to play. Wanda's happy. She's got a friend who wants to play. Oh, it's her favorite game. Uh, we've been following a trail. We did a little bit of a bushwhack where the creek just behind us has washed out the trail. And ahead of us here, it's washed out what I'm assuming was the trail up this way and around. So, Audrina's not happy about it because we got to go uphill again. But there is a trail heading up this way. So, I'm assuming we're going to go up and skirt through the trees up here. And around to get around this little canyon here so that'll be a good time you want to show everybody what we just climbed down <laughs> we just came down this that's pretty gnarly got so much stuff in my shoes how old are you 11 11 how many 11 year olds do you think do stuff like that i don't know that's pretty gnarly hey was that pretty fun yeah that's pretty sweet hey oh we ended up bushwhacking up and around this way up over this li this ridge here and then came down in the edge of the trees here just next to this scree gully because when we were up on the ridge we saw a very well-defined trail down on the flats here so hopefully it's gonna be a little smoother going here because I'm not gonna lie, we've been going pretty slow. There's been a decent amount of bushwhacking and trail finding here, but uh, right here in front of me, there's our trail. We're gonna walk the flats with this amazing rock wall on the side here. I think this is gonna be a lunch break here. It's about 1.30 right now. And uh, yeah, absolutely gorgeous spot here to stop along Coral Creek. Fantastic little break. Wanda is hiking with her best friend here. Whoa. Hey Wanda, you liking this? You got a new friend? Wanda's taking quite the liking to Adrena, which is super cute. First crossing of the day. Oh. How was that, Char? Had a girl. <laughs> I wasn't about to film myself going across that one, guys. That was pretty gnarly here. Um, Bo and I actually uh, we took Adrena on either side of us and basically just held her hands and got her across. That was uh, probably a little intense for her, but she freaking trucked across it. How fun was that? Was that fun? Yeah. Yeah? We're going to do that a bunch more times today. You excited? Yeah, had five yeah. crossings in the last four minutes here. It's been pretty, 
pretty good. Some of the, one of them was gnarly. Yeah. There was one that was pretty gnarly. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm sorry if this isn't appropriate. I got wet up to the nuts. She was moving pretty good. Right now is one of those times I am extremely happy. I want it as well trained. And I know, you guys can probably see her. She's directly behind me. When I say there's a huge level of trust that I have built up with this dog, guys and gals, this is the reason for it. Right now, we are bombing through prime grizzly habitat here. Bashing through willows. This is definitely the kind of area you're gonna get a lot of berries. Hey, bear! And we're right alongside a creek. Which means, as loud as I'm yelling, it's getting muffled out a bit. Now the human voice does travel quite well. Significantly better than bear bells. So, if you guys wonder why I don't have those jingly bear bells on me, they're nested and useless. The sound on them doesn't travel enough. The human voice is gonna travel further than the bear bell. Give you guys an idea of what I'm walking through here. So this is the trail. I am on the trail here. You can see a lot of horse tracks and stuff coming through here. But it's very tall willows. And uh, when Maddie's had grizzly encounters, most of them are in shit like this. So uh, Maddie's on high alert right now. Something was here for sure. Trail is wet, something peed here. I don't see, I don't see any toad tracks. This is all ungulate stuff. So probably a deer or an elk or something, but. Oh. Like we haven't seen any real signs of bear. Like we saw a couple tracks that headed the other way and some fresh scat in behind us, but also going in the opposite direction. Guys coming? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is beautiful. Little wildflowers here. I'm not a flower guy, but this is pretty, very pretty. That really sucked. <laughs> so, came to another crossing. This is the slowest moving spot here, and she's deep. As you guys can see here, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm wet up past my belly. <laughs> like, she's pretty deep. <laughs> yeah, that was that one was not fun. We all linked arms, so we had all five of us linked up, walking together. Wanda got pushed downstream. She crossed where we did, and she came out down here. But she got across fine. I think Coral Creek is gonna wait for another year. I mean, it's the water is still high right now. Um, yeah, like like. I, I, my chest pack is wet. Like, I, I am wet up to the nipples right now. That's, uh, that's how deep some of these crossings are. This is, uh, yeah, this, this is not the smartest thing that I've ever done. So, we are, uh, we're gonna backtrack here, go make camp, have a fire, have some dinner, and have a good evening. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan on this one. Coral Lake is definitely gonna have to wait. 
but uh, you know we got some decent views here like I have not complained about the hike up here so far but it's just every crossing we're getting to right now like it's narrower and narrower and it's just deeper and stronger and yeah we're just we're done with this Juan is a little wife here she's literally getting pushed like 20 30 feet downstream every time if it doesn't pan out you make the best of it a banging camp spot here awesome spot gorgeous out there's a bunch of bucked up wood here already which is sick we got some massive big logs so all we really got to do is gather up some small stuff we need to get a fire going have some dinner so Char and Wanda and I are gonna be crashing together the three of us are gonna curl up in here Pull one Adrina here and then Chris has got a little teepee he's gonna set up here which is line up here dry some stuff out big fire pit here and then the tired girl, little Wanda, she's just tired. Yeah, it's hot out. She's gonna lay in the shade and just relax a little bit. Shark in a rock. Shark crack turning in a rock. Look at this. Like, look at this. This is Frank. He's my new best friend. <laughs> I've just now named the lump on Shar's leg. <laughs> I think he'd have his own zip code. I'll let you guys and gals in on uh, a little bit of a personal thing here. But uh, every backpacking trip I go on, my, uh, my fiance Lindsay leaves me a note in my backpack, or in this case, Wanda's backpack at, in some spot. I know I'm gonna find a note from her. It's uh, yeah, it's like one of my absolute favorite things to, to find a little note when I'm out in the middle of nowhere. It just, uh, yeah, absolutely means the world to me. I'm, I'm a very lucky guy. Wanda's getting her a little bit of spaghetti from my homemade dehydrated spaghetti meal. Super good girl today. Killed in all the water crossings. I don't know if I really got a whole lot of clips of her crossing too much, but uh, yep. A couple of the crossings, she uh, she got pushed downstream pretty good. But she's a freaking trooper. She goes, good dog. Good morning, Wanda. How did you sleep? Like the dead. Wanda does not want to eat her breakfast this morning because she knows Bo and Audrina have scrambled eggs. And she's like, Bo will share with me, he always does. Oh yeah, and she fetches good. If you tell her to drop it, she'll put it down. Good girl, Wanda. Get your stick, Wanda. Get your stick. It's like, oh, everybody's moving. There's too much stuff going on. She wants you to throw it. You got your stick? She's trying to bring it back to you. Hey, Wanda, come here. Drop it. <laughs> come on, bring it back. Come, on. <laughs> come here. Hey, get over here. Bring your stick here. Let's go. Drop it. Wanda. You grab it from her. She, it. She'll just give it to you. She doesn't play tug of war, so you can just grab it. She's not going to bite you or nothing. Hey, stop eating sticks. There's a good throw. Come on, Wanda. I think she lost it. Good girl. The little valley that we're in. The sun is coming up. You can see it probably lighting up in behind me here. So we walk this side of the creek that we're on for a bit, and then we got a bunch of crossings. So hopefully by the time we get to our crossing, we have to go to the other side. It'll be nice and warm over there because the water is going to be cold. Really nice trail up in front of us here. Look at this. Nice and easy to follow. Oh, muddy. <laughs> Couple little muddy sections here. Gotta go up and around. We did a crossing. The crossing wasn't bad, but Wanda's legs are really short, so she ends up swimming across. 
and uh, she got hung up on a branch coming across and her pack got stuck and luckily like I don't keep her pack super tight on her for stuff like that I don't want her to get caught so she was able to shake her pack off and luckily I was able to jump back in and rescue it before it bombed down Coral Creek but now we're gonna take a break here try and warm up we've done about four crossings we're a little chilled get across here it's gonna be fun well the crossing was fun yeah. now we found a nice shady spot here we got the creek just over here and you grab some lunch yeah good freaking times gorgeous views here for a walk out after lunch look at this look at this up ahead of me oh as i give you guys a view of a tree banging views for a hike out here so we're hoping to, to make some miles here. Pretty. Having a good time? Having a good time, puppy? Oh, it's having a good time. Sweet little tiered waterfall here dropping into Coral Creek. Awesome. This has been an absolute Scorcher. doozy of a day. Uh, the heat today is absolutely ridiculous. Okay? It's... uh. It's been a real blessing that we decided to not continue on yesterday because yeah, that would have been absolutely stupid. It's 30 degrees outside right now, which is insanely hot for us up here in Canada in my neck of the woods, like 30 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure if that's in Fahrenheit, but I'll put that on the screen for you guys so you guys can see. But uh, that's really hot for me. That's like, we don't, we deal with this maybe a handful of times a year. So to be out hiking in weather like this is nuts. Like I, uh, I've got Wanda's pack inside mine here I've been carrying her pack for a good chunk of the day and uh, I've just been, I've basically been using all my water to just like hydrate her and soak her and I'm just cambling up every time we come across water but check out the banging water source that we came across here on trail. Like gorgeous little natural spring here. This is so cool. There's little ripples that are coming up here. I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, but there's actually the water coming up through the ground. It's a natural spring. This is so sweet. Nice little shaded spot. So uh, we're all going to sit here and take a little break. The next morning here, we camped out last night at the trailhead. And uh, I think the call that we're all going to make is, I think we're actually just going to head home today. Uh, like I mentioned yesterday, like the sun and the heat that we were dealing with is pretty ridiculous for us up here in Alberta. We're, uh, we're not really used to these insanely hot weather days. And I know for some of you guys down in the south, uh, 30 Celsius is probably average. But for us, that's really hot. And it gets really humid here too. So it feels a lot more hot than it is. But uh, I woke up this morning and I feel like I'm teetering on the verge of getting a migraine. And uh, any of you guys who know me know that when I get my migraines, I am done. Like I'm not moving. I'm usually in my basement with eye shades on and stuff like that so uh yeah unfortunately we're gonna end up cutting this trip short but we have last got to see some pretty stuff but yeah that's uh that's how it goes sometimes so you know i mean as you guys can see already first thing in the morning wanda's got her booties on like just the the heat from the ground yesterday was was really hurting her feet like she's got no cracks on her paw pads or anything but uh she's feeling it so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get packed up here and balance out. So as always guys, I'm Maddie. Thank you guys so damn much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.